Ooh la la. Viva la France and all that other good stuff. All right. Welcome to Cards and Sharps. How you guys doing? Good, good. Glad to hear it. I have in my hands here a Opinel Savoie France Carbone. I'm guessing maybe that means either, either Savoy France or Savoy, or how you say that. It either means made in France or that's a, the town in France where it's made. These are a French knife and the Carbone. Uh, I'm going to say means that this is the carbon steel model, which it is. And we have a French design knife from uh, late 1800s, uh, somewhere in the 1880s and early 90s range. Um, and it's a design that seems to have went over well over there and uh, they just continue to make them and they've become kind of a, inter a knife of you know interesting type knife that uh, folks over here kind of come to like uh, just for partially for the, the uniqueness of them and they're not kind of neat looking with the real wood uh, it's a beech wood handle with a carbon steel blade uh, so it's not going to be a knife and it's got a really thin blade as well uh, so it's not going to be a prying knife or or anything like that this is a pocket knife um, you know cutting string open boxes open maybe a letter or something like that but they are unique looking I've been wanting to get my hands on one I've seen pictures of them uh, I thought they just kind of kind of had a certain cool look, kind of old school look to them. And these are actually a lock blade. Uh, you lock them by turning the collar, and that locks it, and that locks it in place. So you you open it up, lock it, and then now you can use it um, for whatever task you have for it, and not worry about that blade guillotining your fingers. Guillotine. Yeah, that's another French uh, word, and we all know what the guillotine is. You open it with a uh, nail nick, and really, it just fits in the pivot type. There's really no spring or anything like that involved. A very simply made knife, and then just simply locks with the twist of the collar. The overall length of this is going to be a little over seven and a half inches at about seven six point six two five, with the blade would be in three and a quarter inches. Um, so it's a pretty pretty just basic bare bones, and they're not expensive. So um, if you just want to need a good pocket knife or even like a toolbox knife. Uh, no, I don't know about toolbox. Maybe a tackle box. Not nah, toolbox. You might be pull it out and want to pry something with it. And I will not try that with this blade. Now they do make a stainless steel version. Uh, I believe it may have a little beefier blade, and it's also going to be more rust resistant. Uh, just being carbon steel. If you get it wet or anything like that, just dry it off and, and maybe even oil it a little bit, and you'll be fine. Uh, which you know, I'm pretty pretty good about when I use a, a blade, I will clean it um, to protect it. Alright, what else? Uh, oh, this one is the number 8. And the 8 is the designation in centimeters of the blade make. Um, so you have a I know a number six, it's a little smaller, and I think they may even go down to a two, which is a very small little like keychain type knife. That, same look, and uh, but I don't believe it. I ain't sure it has the locking mechanism. All right, uh, really, this is a 
Now, if I think would be all right to carry in my pocket, you know, take it. I work in the office, so I could take it to work. You know, take it out, cut an apple, or open a some mail, or cut a open a box, got some tape, got some string, something like that. And you're not going to scare anybody because that looks like it has that looks like something my grandpa had kind of kind of look to it. And I don't think you're going to scare anybody with it. You're also not going to want to get any knife fights with it because in the pocket, um, being round, it just kind of, it'll fall around and down in the bottom underneath anything else you got in there. It's not going to be a quick retrieve. Uh, no pocket clips available. And it's not going to be a fast deploy knife. By the time you pop the blade out and turn the collar to lock it, you're... You're probably uh, losing the battle at that point anyway. So it's a pocket knife, uh, just a not good old fashioned pocket knife. Works fine for that. It's a curiosity piece, absolutely. Um, this will be one that will go in my collection um, with some of my other just good old fashioned pocket knives uh, such as the Higo no Kami. And this is a knife that really serves no useful purpose other than when the guys come over and we compare cool stuff. I say, hey, check this out. And it gets a few oohs and ahs and uh, nobody really seems to take in consideration that it's basically a knife that serves really no purpose other than maybe open envelope or something like that and this knife kind of fits in the same area this this one I think is going to be with the locking blade and uh, and all that it's going to be a more useful type knife uh, if anything else it'd just make a cool uh, steak knife catch your steak up with that looks like a Opened up like that. Looks like a nice uh, little steak knife. All right. Let me hear your opinions. What do you think of the Oppenell number eight? And would you have one? Uh, or do you think they're cheap enough that it'd be just something neat to have in your collection? So let me know. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe. Uh, we'll have more, more knives and cool stuff coming your way. We'll see you next time.